Is the concept of artificial intelligence in the modern broadest concept of the phrase a good or a bad thing? There is a public sense that whatever the future of AI has in store, one of those things involved is AI potentially taking jobs. Now, when I say jobs, I'm looking at it from the niche of the creator. How is it gonna affect what you and I do creatively? During the recent WWDC, Apple introduced Apple Intelligence, a seamless integration of advanced AI and machine learning technologies designed to revolutionize everything from Siri to enterprise solutions in devices that we use every day. The new personal intelligence system that makes your most personal products even more useful and delightful. But what does that mean for the average person? This innovation has already transformed our interactions with technology, but where could it lead us to in the future? This is a moment we've been working towards for a long time. Obviously, AI isn't a new thing. It's been around for a while, automating repetitive tasks, streamlining operations, enhancing your photos, making your audio sound better when you're in a noisy environment, all of those things, all down to some form of AI within whatever device you're using, from your phone, your computer, headphones, your Amazon Echo, everything tech-wise you can think of, probably is doing some form of AI. But with enhancements like Apple intelligence, AI is stepping into roles that require complex decision-making and creativity, from natural language processing in Siri to the advanced camera functionalities in our iPhones and iPads. Apple Intelligence aims to enhance our daily experiences, but this is just the beginning. On the one hand, this side positivity, AI can handle tedious, complex, and possibly sometimes dangerous tasks, increasing efficiency and safety. For instance, in manufacturing, AI-powered robots can work tirelessly without risking human injury. AI has the potential to revolutionize our lives for the better. We've seen it in everything from medical diagnosis to self-driving cars. Imagine a world where doctors are assisted by AI that can analyze vast amounts of medical data, leading to a more accurate diagnosis, personalized treatment plans, and possibly cures for conditions that experts have poured hours and hours of research into. In health and wellness, AI and wearable devices like the Apple Watch already monitors heart rate, ECG, blood oxygen levels, providing insight sites and early warnings about potential health issues. But imagine a future where these capabilities are more advanced, predicting illnesses before symptoms appear and personalizing healthcare to you based on everything it knows about you from your lifestyle, your habits and your health stats. Apple intelligence should also make technology more inclusive, enhance accessibility features like voiceover and assisted touch, ensure that everyone can benefit from those technological advancements regardless of your ability. And the way that it is going, future developments could break down even more barriers, creating an all-encompassing digital environment. Well, it's always been our goal to design powerful personal products that enrich people's lives by enabling them to do the things that matter most as simply and easily as possible. We've been using artificial intelligence and machine learning for years to help us further that goal. As Apple and other companies continue to invest in AI research and development, the boundaries of what is possible with AI will keep expanding. But it's this commitment that promises to create new user experiences that are intelligent, intuitive, and even more personalized. So AI is undoubtedly beneficial in many ways, but what about the potential downsides? Let's address that elephant in the room, job displacement. Yes, AI and automation will most likely lead to job losses, especially in sectors heavily reliant on manual labor and routine tasks. It's this transition that will be painful for workers who will find their skills obsolete. Nothing, they took our jobs. However, there is a flip side to the AI coin. As AI gets more sophisticated, there's a growing concern that it will automate many jobs currently done by humans. You know, those repetitive tasks, data entry, even some customer services roles could be potentially replaced by AI. Now let's adopt those advancements in AI into the creativity niche and think about job displacement here. If you can use a program that will produce a quick rendered thumbnail or a piece of script for my next video, if you outsource tasks like these normally to other creators, or if you yourself does this for others, then your feelings towards those same advancements in AI aren't going to be positive because now it becomes easier for someone to just type a prompt into their preferred chatbot and get that exact thing that they're paying you for in a fraction of the time for a fraction of the cost. So as we look to build in these incredible new capabilities, we want to ensure that the outcome reflects the principles at the core of our products. 
While Apple undoubtedly has good intentions, the potential impact on that job market needs to be carefully considered. But the reality of this is that it will probably only go one way. There's also a risk of over-reliance on AI, which could lead to the loss of human skills and jobs, as I mentioned before, and potentially even technical malfunctions with serious consequences. And some of you out there will be going straight to that doomsday scenario of a Skynet-type future. Hopefully, it won't go that far. Moreover, the risk of AI systems perpetuating and even exacerbating existing biases is a significant concern. Addressing these biases in AI models is essential to ensure fairness and equity. And of course, it has to be built with privacy from the ground up. While Apple emphasizes user privacy and security, the increasing integration of AI raises concerns about data privacy and surveillance. But what will be crucial is ensuring that personal data is protected. As these technologies evolve, and Apple does say that they have systems in place that will protect our privacy. We want to extend the privacy and security of your iPhone into the cloud to unlock even more intelligence for you. So we have created private cloud compute. The rise of AI can also open up new job opportunities. There's going to be a growing demand for AI specialists, data analysts, and those tech savvy professionals who can develop, maintain, and oversee these AI systems. The future of work with AI is likely to be one of collaboration. AI will handle the repetitive tasks, freeing us up to focus on creative, strategic aspects of our jobs. The key for all of us is to be adaptable. We need to focus on developing skills that are difficult for AI to replicate, like critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity. We may also need to prepare ourselves to retrain or upskill ourselves throughout our careers by learning new technologies and stay updated with industry trends. And remember, while AI can handle many tasks, it can't replicate the human touch. Empathy, creativity, and critical thinking are all irreplaceable human traits, or areas which we will still out form AI for such, hopefully, for a long time. Apple intelligence holds incredible promise for the future, potentially enhancing our lives in ways that we're only beginning to understand. The rise of AI presents both a challenge and an opportunity, but by embracing AI and preparing ourselves for the changing job market, we can ensure that AI works for us and not against us by navigating the challenges thoughtfully and ethically. I'm sure as a global collective, we can harness the full potential of AI to create a future that is both innovative and inclusive. What are your thoughts on AI? Do you think Apple intelligence is a good thing? Just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.